Mr. Mullins appears in the opening of the film story. We're informed that Mr. Mullins was a doll maker. One day, he gets a note under the door while manufacturing dolls in his house. It was written in this book, Find Me. He takes the note in his hand and begins to read it as he moves ahead. He also discovers another note in which it was written These closer. notes were written by Mr. Mullins' daughter. Annabella was the name of Mr. Mullins' daughter. Mr. Mullins adores his daughter and can't lose her at any cost. Who can, however, defy fate? The next day, we notice their family returning from church. Meanwhile, the tire of his Mr. car Mullins was, was working on his car while Annabelle was walking down the road. Meanwhile, Annabelle is hit by a car on the road. As a result, she dies, and we see the scene again in the film after 12 years. We notice a nun and orphan girls on their way to Mr. Mullins' home. Their driver informs them that after the loss of their daughter, Mr. and Mrs. Mullins are left alone. You should be responsible for them, and they Mr. should Mullins all arrive greets there. Them there. And among these orphan girls, we see a girl with polio in her leg. Her name was Janice, and she couldn't walk very well. This film's main character is she. Mr. Mullins' house was rather significant, and all the girls were interested in and seeing And they are it. overjoyed. Mr. Mullins informs them that their room is on the first floor. However, the sister informs Mr. Mullins that Janice and I will stay in the ground floor room because she can't walk. Mr. Mullins shows her an automatic chair he made for his wife. And Janice effortlessly reaches the top of it after sitting in it. Meanwhile, a shadow appeared behind Janice and then vanished. All of the girls were happy and began selecting their beds. Janice looks outside and sees written five years, six years, and seven years. Later, Mr. Mullins approaches her and informs her this room will remain locked forever and that she should not try to open None. it. None, the sister, is later seen opening her luggage. Meanwhile, she notices a secret window where a lift has been placed. It was weird to see a lift placed in a window. When Sister closes the window, it automatically reopens. Sister closes the window again, but it reopens. Meanwhile, a girl approaches her sister and gets her approval. If she could play after going outdoors. All the outdoors. girls receive permission from Sister, and they all walk outside to play. Janice was peering out her window at everything. She gets sad because she can't walk and can't play that way. Everyone was having dinner at night, and we saw the wife of Mr. Mullins. Meanwhile, the door closes, and Janice discovers the same note late at night. On this note, it was written to find me it was an exact note. That Annabelle, Mr. Mullen's daughter, used to give him. However, if Annabelle had died, who was writing to Janice? Janice enters the room while following the note. Mr. Mullins forbade her from going there. Janice enters the room and notices several dolls and a small doll house there. It was an exact replica of Mr. Mullen's residence. In the meantime, Janice discovers a key to that house. This key belonged to one of the cupboards in the room. Janice places the key in the lock and opens the cabinet. Annabella's doll, which was rather dignified in look, was placed here. When Janice notices the doll, she locks the cabinet. In the meantime, the cupboard unlocks and she locks it again. However, it appears like Annabelle is calling her once more. Janice dresses the doll, and when she looks outside, Mr. Mullins has noticed her. Janice was on her way to see Mr. Mullins. 
she notices the doll approaching her from behind. It suddenly vanishes, and Janice is terrified of seeing the doll again. She becomes terrified and has no idea what is going on with her. She bolts from the scene and hides in her room. Mr. Mullins couldn't see her afterward, and we saw her the next day. Outside, all of the girls were playing, except Janice, who confronted As her she sister. enters the same room that Mr. Mullins has forbidden her from entering. Sister explains to her that we live in Mr. Mullins' house and must abide by all of his laws. Later, amid these orphan girls, we see the youngest girl. While hiding, she moves towards the basement door. She comes upon the Annabelle doll and stares at her. In the meantime, a shadow approaches her, and the doll vanishes. The girl is terrified and trips outside the basement stairs. And after witnessing her, all the girls made her laugh. Meanwhile, Mr. Mullins locks the secret window, preventing anyone from entering. Later in the evening, we encounter two girls who, while wrapping a cloth over them, we were conversing while Mr. taking Mullen's a torch. Mr. Mullen's wife was unusual in that she used to spend the entire day in she bed. She also goes outside at night to look for prey. They heard someone walking while they were conversing. Mr. Mullen's voice was heard by both of them. However, their torch suddenly goes out and a dreadful shadow draws them in. They become terrified and scream as a result. After hearing their shouts, everyone comes there. I've seen your wife, one of the two girls tells Mr. Mullins. Mr. Mullins claims it is impossible since his wife has never been able to walk. Later, we notice the sister entering Mrs. Mullins' room. To express our condolences on the death of her daughter, the we first see Mr. Mullins. She used to wear a mask all the time, and we'll find out why later. Janice was clearly listening to everything while standing outside. Janice notices Annabelle and the photo of her doll. She keeps it with her after she has taken it off. Janice returns to that same room later. This time, though, she was accompanied by a little girl. There, the girl throws a toy at Annabella's doll. As a result, the doll appears hostile, and Linda is terrified to witness it all. And she exits the room, but Janice remains inside. Janice sees Annabelle, but it's her spirit looking into a mirror, not Annabelle. Janice informs Annabelle that she can help her with whatever she needs. Tell me what you're looking for. Annabelle looks back while she listens to Janice. And she speaks with a terrified face. She transforms into an odd horror soul. She tells Janice that she is in need of her soul, and Janice feels terrified. She attempts to flee and sits in the automatic chair to do so. However, the chair flips over, and the devil drags Janice below. Morning arrives, and Mr. Mullins treats Janice in this manner. Janice informs her sister that the devil is attempting to murder her. Because I'm frail in comparison to and them, and my spirit is weaker than the others, Sister explains to Janice that while her body her is soul frail, is far more powerful than ours. Linda later hears the sound coming from that room. She walks close to that room and then looks out the window. After sitting in the chair, she notices the doll swaying. It was unusual, and she became worried. Linda is still curious as to whether or not there is a demon in the room. With her toy gun, she knots a rope and points to that Meanwhile, room. Meanwhile, the devil takes her gun. Linda becomes frightened and hides in her bed. The devil arrives and takes his doll before departing. 
Another unusual occurrence occurs the next morning. Sister takes Annabelle outdoors for a walk, but then she turns into a devil and tosses her into the storeroom after taking her. She locks her up, and Annabelle appears, throwing her blood over Janice. It indicates that the ghost who was posing as Annabelle has entered Janice's body. When Janice's screams are heard, everyone rushes to her aid. Janice, on the other hand, was showing that she is perfectly normal. Because the devil has taken up residence in Janice, Mr. Mullins visits Linda the next Linda day. Linda tells him the truth. That despite your prohibition, Janice went to that room and took the doll with her. Mr. Mullins becomes ragged and nervous after hearing this. He enters the house right away and notices the doll sitting in the chair. They also discover a note that reads, Dad, I found you. Mr. Mullins inquires whether I've banned you because Janice was also present. Janice vanished into the darkness all of a sudden. Her body ejects a strange liquid. Janice was possessed by the same devil. Mr. Mullins gestures to her with a cross. The devil one by one breaks the fingers of Mr. Mullins and kills Mr. Mullins after this. The innocent Mr. Mullins has also died. When sister hears Mr. Mullins yell, she comes inside. She arrives and discovers Mr. Mullins' body in an unusual state. The devil appears to have sucked all of Mr. Mullins' blood. All of the girls are now terrified after witnessing this incident. Linda made the decision to throw the doll, and she did so the same night. Sister, on the other hand, sees her on her way out and Linda after she throws the doll. After bending, she was able to view the ball, but she was abruptly dragged. Linda's luck, however, was such that her sister came to her rescue. Linda and her sister enter the house. Janice had vanished and the doll had been placed on the bed, they noticed. Sister is totally blind to what is going on in the house. Sister approaches Mr. Mullins and inquires about the contents of this residence. What is going on here? Is there any black force that is killing people? And the truth will come out. Mr. Mullins claims that after their daughter died, they fell to alone, which is why they sought to bring her back. And whatever they have to do for this, they haven't considered the possibility that the harm will be even worse. They've called their daughter with the wrong abilities. When their daughter returned, they were overjoyed. We later discovered that she is not our daughter Annabelle, but rather a devil who has snatched our daughter's soul. The devil is attempting to enter the world through our daughter when we realized what was happening. I tried to send the demon back with a cross sign. The devil, on the other hand, was quite powerful. After hitting her, he brought out one of her eyes. She removes her mask after telling everything. Here we see Mr. Mullins' true visage, which was pretty terrifying. Mr. Mullins has since locked the store, he'd stacked the Bible pages there. He later called the father and the priests. As a result, 12 years had passed and he had made the decision to assist other girls in their daughter's place. Mr. Mullins has urged everyone to work together for the he greater good. He has no good. idea that Janice will be the one to unlock the door. The demon will reawaken, and the girls will see Janice, who can now walk. It suggests she has an inside devil who has cured her. Janice tries to kill everyone here, and they all run outside screaming. Sister instills in everyone the importance of being together and staying safe. The girls all want to take Mrs. Mullins with them so they can look after her.
Meanwhile, as they enter her room, they discover an unusual situation. They notice that Mrs. Mullins has already been murdered by the devil. After killing her, he'd hanged her half-body in the wall. After watching this, all the girls fear and go out while screaming. Sister goes there to save Linda and the other girl, but Janice also comes there. Sister begins to recite Bible and Janice tosses her into the mirror. The devil inside Janice begins to tease all the girls. One of the girls hides in a cottage and the devil tries to kill her. On the other side, Linda was trying to escape from Janice who was behind her. She wants to kill her and Linda opens the secret window, in which she sees Mrs. Mullins who died has got life in her body. And she was approaching Linda. Linda shuts the window and the sister arrives to help her. Janice stabs the sister with a knife and the sister locks Janice after that. Where the doll was previously locked, the demon starts shaking the entire home. And he uses all of his strength to get himself out of the cabinet. he couldn't, and the house's lights flickered on and off. After witnessing this, everyone begins to flee the scene. We see that the entire house begins to shake. All of the lights go off at the same time, causing the darkness to spread and everything to go silent. The devil seemed to have left this area. Later, a scenario from the next day is depicted, in which the police arrive. The police opened the cupboard, but all they found was a doll. Janice had vanished from there, implying that the devil was still inside her. He moves in with Janice and becomes self-sufficient. Later, we witness a driver take the doll and leave. While the other girls decide to leave the house, and we later observe the scene. We witness a couple that has come to adopt a young child from an orphanage. This girl was none other than Janice, whose feet had been healed. It indicates that the devil was still present in Hare's body. After 12 years, we can watch Janice mature. Janice is now an adult, and her parents pay attention to her. Janice removes her father's head when he tries to check on her. She kills her mother later, and after hearing these sounds, she kills her. Their neighbor wakes up and the movie ends. Thanks for watching.